May I offer you a coffee in this trying time? Offer coffee. Oh, thank you. Right. Get yourself together. Captain! Sir, are you still in your quarters? Well, anyway. There's been an accident. And Kirk? I'm afraid Kirk is dead. What? Really? That's... That's most unfortunate. This situation merits an appropriate response. He will be dearly missed. See to the preparations. I will make sure to attend. Wait, Captain! Your Captain is a man of remarkable composure. He remains calm and collected, even after being told one of his crew has died tragically. <sighs> That's one way to look at it. It seems I have work to attend to, at the airlock. <sighs> I suppose I could go and look around in Kirk's quarters. See if he had any prized possessions. Something to put in the casket. Ah. That's thoughtful of you. By all means, please. To Kirk's quarters, then I suppose I wanted to go in here anyway. I do have another square, um, another story advancing square, but I can't be two places at once. It's still me, Cube. Wide assortment of awards for both athletic and academic achievements, all are gold. Every pair is stored in a transparent display case and perfectly aligned with the others in both position and orientation. A man and a woman stand shoulder to shoulder and smile broadly for the camera. Please input password. Burial in space, huh? There is comfort, at least, in having the opportunity to mourn. Personal computer. The image of a single palm tree swaying in the wind as waves crest and crash behind it beneath the clear blue sky fills the screen. A caption in the corner proudly declares, Best day ever on the world's best beach. What do we have here? A book? The warp drive science fiction or reality? Ah, this would explain a lot. Like that expression he was so fond of when time was shor short. Warp speed, as if saying it made it possible. Made it real. We should leave this there. 
here. Rachel would be most upset if anyone else touched it. How is she doing? Not well. Um, okay. to go to the airlock, I think. How did it come to this? I never liked the man. Far from it. But never, not even once, did I wish he was dead. Never. Hmm. Um. Level two, I suppose. <laughs> I think I'm going to the medical bay, looks like. Makes sense. Um... Has... Has anyone... Uh, seen... Kirk? Is, is everyone still in his room? Hold on. <laughs> what did you say? The body's missing? Sure, I guess I'll go tell uh, Huey as well. Actually, can I not go into anyone else's room right now? It looks like Rachel shut off visiting privileges. I hope that doesn't mean anything. He's not here. Hmm. What the hell is going on here? 
I'd like to know as much as you would. Wait, where is Rachel? Did no one contact her? Why isn't she here? Well, that's a little creepy. Kurt, my love? <laughs> Still catching up on sleep, are we? That's fine. I'll have some fresh baked cookies ready for you soon. That ought to get you out of bed. <laughs> Rachel! Rachel! What is this? Don't... Don't you dare try to take him from me again. Oh, Huey. Clever little Huey. If he was out of the picture, then it'd all go back to the way it was. I'd come running back and leap into your arms. That's what you thought, isn't it? That's why you tried to kill him, isn't it? Rachel, please. Listen to what you're saying. Get out of there, Rachel, before Huey tries to stop you. I'm waiting for you outside the airlock. Don't worry about my body. Hurry. Warp speed. Um... Rachel, stop! This isn't good. Okay, um... Hmm. This isn't good. I went to the wrong level. Gosh darn it. Rachel, this is insane! Get your hands off me! Get a hold of yourself. Calm down, let's talk about this. That sounded like beast. That's not good. Um, that's really not good. It's not there.
no memory cards in here. Um, and I can't leave. Not that way, anyway. If you encounter the escaped behemoth while traversing the ship, run away as quickly as you can. If the behemoth catches you, the game will immediately end. Okay, goodbye. Someone let the dog out. What do you mean the behemoth is loose? Damn it! Are you all right? Oh, thank goodness. No damage as far as I can see. Okay. Now, look me in the eyes and listen very carefully to what I have to say. We were all there in the med bay. We all saw Kirk. We all saw him on that bed, and saw the system pronounce him dead. Okay? You remember that, don't you? I know it's hard to accept, but he's gone. No matter how much you may want to believe otherwise, that's the truth. You can take it from here, I trust. I need to check the cargo hold. Corporal? Thank you. We've had enough death for one day. here. The clank was right. The container is empty. And to make matters worse, the specimen appears to have escaped the cargo hold. There's no telling where it's got to. Keep your eyes peeled and be prepared to run. Let's regroup at the elevator near you and head to the upper levels. Sorry. I suppose I... I couldn't accept it. It's just... It was all so sudden. One minute he was here, and then...
Seems like time for another coffee. so kind to me in the like hour I've known you <laughs> hello hello this is the captain everyone is doing well I hope you are aware that a behemoth is currently prowling your decks aren't you what really that's uh, that's most unfortunate are you joking it's a bloody catastrophe is what it is. How long do you intend to keep huddling in your quarters instead of coming out and taking charge of this situation? What? Really? That's... that's uh, most unfortunate. What? Really? That's... that's most unfortunate. The behemoth's still out there. And so is Kirk. I can't let that thing hurt him. Rachel! Oh, no, you don't. Or are you that eager to die? But Rachel and Huey, they... I can check on them. You mustn't go outside, it's too dangerous. I'm sorry. But I can't just abandon them. Oh my gosh. This is why barely anyone survives the horror movies. Rachel is Rachel okay? She's all right. You don't need to worry about her. What were you thinking? Running after her like that? And now, this. It's okay, Gato. It's okay. I... I didn't really have a choice, I think. Even now, after everything, I... I love... Rachel's still alive. We need to move quickly. Yes, of course. We should take her back to the pods. Put her in cryo for now. She'll be safe there. Little one, I have a very important mission for you. I need you to head to the interface room right away and speak with Decimus. We need emergency access to the captain's quarters. I realize I'm asking you to put yourself at even greater risk in what is already a terrible situation. But there is no one else, little one. Only you. Everything will be all right. I have to believe that. We'll get through this and make it back home together. Right, let's move. Oh, 
Um. Is there any chance I have access to Huey's quarters? I'm just curious. Okay. Personal log. Should be receiving the exam results from Earth any day now. If I've passed, then I will be qualified to serve as a captain in an official capacity. Still haven't told anyone I took it. Thinking I'll come clean when we get back to Earth. It won't be easy to part ways with everyone. The thought alone is a bit depressing. Yeah, I've gotta do it before I leave the ship. Gotta get some time alone with Rachel and say what needs to be said. Interstellar Transmission, Sender, Soul Transit Authority. Notification of Examination Results. Dear Applicant, We regret to inform you at this time that you did not achieve a passing grade on the Captain Certification Exam. Results are final and are not subject to appeal. The next exam will be held in six months. We invite you to try again. Assortment of books and documents relating to the logistics of space travel and ship administration. The pages are well worn and filled with handwritten annotations. The login prompt is displayed on the screen. The five crewmates of the Cogito Ergo Sum pose for the group shot. Guess I should examine the bed just in case it has something different. <laughs> Yep, there was an exam book on it. Couldn't really read what it was, but I don't think the specifics matter. Oh my gosh! How does it even fit? Request received for emergency access code for the captain's quarters. Processing. Processing. Request approved. Generating override code. OAKFDE. Um. Thank heavens you're okay. It's prowling. I wouldn't go out there right now. Yes. This should suffice. Enough talk. It's time we put an end to the charade. Corporal, you don't really think... I know the captain's been behaving strangely, but to hurt his own people... It's just that... It beggars belief. Then who do you think is responsible? Me? No. No. Of course not. Regardless, your captain has a lot to answer for. I mean, something weird's going on. Well, here goes nothing. It... It, it won't budge. We don't have time for this. Just force the bloody thing open. Don't worry. 
I came prepared. I thought it might come to this. Ah, here, little one. Hold on to this for me. This item can be used to force open doors until its battery pack is drained. Sealed doors and hatches may be forced open with the powered pry bar, however be warned that it may only be used a limited number of times. Um, no. I think I can worry about forcing stuff open maybe later. Captain! I thought so. The only ones still up and moving on this ship are you and me. No more games, Kato. What in blazes are you on about? How long do you intend to play the fool? You killed him. This is all you're doing. That's ridiculous. For all I know, it could have been you. Me? I'm just a passenger. I have no connections to you people, no motive. But in my short time here, I've seen the tension, smelled the bad blood. I don't know what drove you to it, but I'm not surprised. It wasn't me, damn it! It wasn't me! Just shut up! You don't know me! You don't know anything about us! We didn't always get along, I'll admit. I'd be hard-pressed to call us friends, even. I doubt I would have exchanged two words with Kirk or Rachel if we'd met anywhere else. They're just... We're just too different. But even so, I didn't hate them. And they didn't hate me. I know that much. None of us. Not me, or the captain, or Huey. We're not murderers. We're... We're all just stuck in our heads. Too caught up in our own worries to notice when others are hurting. Unable to see beyond our own wants and wounds. Beyond the life we wish we had and think we deserve. We're just people. Well, time to snoop. Personal audio log, retrieving data for playback. This is the Cogito Ergo Sum. I am pleased to report we are proceeding on course and on schedule. Projected to arrive at Earth in approximately... <sighs> huh? Is that the... <laughs> I need help in here! What the... Open, damn you! Terminal has been turned off. Thin layer of dust covers the keyboard. Terran horses run free in a wide open field. Didn't mean to talk to you twice. This does not concern you, Clink. 
Kato shudders, his hands balled into fists as tears streamed down his face. Maybe it's the other robot! The prototype! Something is blaring. Distress, distress call has been received from this room. Unable to confirm status of occupant at this time. Lifting access restrictions to allow crew to render aid as necessary. To proceed, please input your name. Profile confirmed. You have been granted access. Okay, um... I don't think it was this guy. It's either gonna be like the other robot or just like the behemoth itself somehow, <laughs> you know. Private correspondence. Order addendum. Operation TY580905. Regarding xenobiological specimens secured in deep space. To reiterate, constant monitoring of specimen during transport is strongly advised. However, in the event containment is breached and specimen comes into contact with crew, revised orders are as follows. Absorb and record specimen activity. Detailed study of specimen remains highest priority. All necessary measures should be taken to ensure delivery. Be advised that total loss of crew is considered within acceptable parameters. TDF Special Operations Command. Okay, so he doesn't care if everyone dies. Holographic photo frame, no image is currently displayed. Personal computer, the terminal has been turned off. The bed hidden beneath the pillow is a loaded handgun. There's no indication these facilities have been used even once. Okay, cool. Not that cool, but... I sucked in, I guess. I don't want to go prying over or open every hatch quite yet. Just in case... I need it somewhere else. What did you say? Orders? What orders? Of course. It all makes sense now. I knew you were up to something. Why else would the military bother chartering a civilian transport? This was your plan all along! Went snooping in my room, did you? I was right about you, Clank. You're all the same. All this to study your precious specimen. Every death, another data point. <sighs> Those orders, Kato, were in the event of a worst-case scenario. What now? It was you! You killed them! You killed them all, you, you monster! Yeah, I still don't think it was him. Run, little one! Don't let him catch you! Okay. Um. Yeah, let's use it. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, um, yeah. So that thing's outside and it wants to eat me. For some reason, I'm just a robot. What benefit could it gain from that? I don't know. I guess next time we'll be snooping around, or sneaking around, and trying not to get destroyed. <laughs> <laughs>